We call it the third gravitational body. Just funny because I mentioned earlier reading the three body problem, which is you can never predict three bodies for some reason. Yeah, the example that I learned, picture three magnets, yep. one red, one yellow, one blue, right? And then picture a single pendulum right now in the, in the middle, right? If I let go of this ferrous pendulum over the blue one, it's just gonna stay on blue. But you do like a, a 64, an eight by eight grid. But then you refine it to let's do 16 by 16. And then you see there's a blue zone and a red zone and a yellow zone. Yeah. But then we refine it to 128 by 128. And eventually you get this highly detailed, you see bands where it's like here it's blue, then there's a band of red where it's always gonna end up on red. Then there's a band of yellow. What we think of as chaos is basically an inability to measure precisely enough. Oh. And at some point you get all the way down to the Heisenberg uncertainty principle where it is literally unmeasurable and it is truly chaotic. Yeah. So uh, 